From now until the end of June, the Supreme Court is expected to rule on big issues, affirmative action and same-sex marriage. It's almost unimaginable the number of things the Supreme Court is going to decide that affect all Americans in the next month. First up could be whether public schools can consider race when admitting students. Abigail Fisher sued the University of Texas, arguing she was rejected because she's white. I hope the court rules that a student's race and ethnicity should not be considered when applying to the University of Texas. The school says race is one of many factors it uses to achieve diversity on campus. Court watchers say Anthony Kennedy could side with conservative justices to overturn or limit a major Supreme Court decision from 10 years ago that allowed affirmative action. The justices are also dealing with another hot button issue, same sex marriage. From the founding of this country, the marriage between one man and one woman, you guys are won't accept it. Considering whether California's Proposition 8 ban is constitutional, and in a second case, if the Defense of Marriage Act can deny same sex couples the same federal benefits as heterosexual ones. I think it's going to be good. That case was brought by Edith Windsor a New York woman who had to pay higher estate taxes after her wife died than someone in a heterosexual marriage would have. I think it's likely in the Defense of Marriage Act case that the Supreme Court will invalidate the federal law that says we won't recognize state same-sex marriages. But in the California Proposition 8 case, the justices seem unlikely to require under the Constitution every state to recognize same-sex marriage. The ruling may not be a huge gay rights victory at all, but I doubt it's going to be a significant loss either. Another case involves the kind of genetic testing that led actress Angelina Jolie to undergo a double mastectomy. The court is considering whether human genes, so-called products of nature, can be patented. Athena Jones, CNN, Washington.